Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show how to make the groovy floating picture frame. The picture that I have in it right now doesn't qualify for a floating picture as it goes to all the edges but I'll get to that later in the build. And with that said, let's get to it. As the picture is 300 square millimeters, I'm going to cut the wood by 330 square millimeters. So I want to take my cut off and run it through the blade once, a little bit less than half width, and then run the other side through to get everything nice and even. To get my frame some aesthetic lines, I just have the blade a little bit under 3 mil or 1 eighth of an inch. Now before I put this to the table saw, I'm going to mark one side of it. That way I know what side will always go to the fence. What I'm going to do is run all four pieces of the wood through at one pass and then adjust my fence over about a quarter of an inch or six mil then run it again and do this process over and over until I reach to a point where I can no longer pass this edge. Next, I'm going to take all the boards and run them through the blade at a 45 degree angle on one edge. And then flipping them around where the 45 is against the fence and cutting again. For the next cut, I have the blade about two thirds of the height of the board right here. And it's going to take out half on the width. To complete the rabbit, I adjusted the height of the blade to where it's at the bottom of the saw cut and adjust the fence so it will catch the edge of the saw cut. Now I have my edge clamp set up right around it so I don't have to mess around with it too much. And just going to take a bit of glue and trying to avoid getting glue into the cuts and just supplying a bit of tension to it doesn't take much. Or it never hurts to make sure that everything's sitting on the same level and nice and flush. Place one right there and place one right there so it doesn't glue to the work surface. And while the frame's drying, I'm going to cut the acrylic. All right, so everything's glued up and looking pretty good. So just as usual, take a pencil and go on your flat edge. Now that I'm done sanding, I've got some glue points on the corners, which is to be expected. I uh, can't get in there with sander because it's too small. So I'm just going to use this small pin file to wedge in there and flip it on its other side and get it from that point as well. Okay, so it's time for finish again and I'm using quick drying tile oil, of course. And to support it while it's drying, I just have a couple of chunks of two by four that I'm going to use the inside rim. Okay, now for assembly. Now for a floating picture frame, you wouldn't bother with any backing, but as my picture, is a fabric with lots of pins in it. I'm going to have to have backing. And for a floating picture frame, you just use like a good scotch tape, nice and clear to where it adhere to the surface and you wouldn't really pick it up with your eye. And I'm just using a piece of cardboard. And now to secure the cardboard in, all I have is some simple tacks and then just Take these pliers and edge it in just a little bit more. I don't really want to break the other side of the surface. And there we go. 